Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Karshina with Verse Films Productions. And this is Screamtober. We're doing a video a day for 31 days up into Halloween. So let's go ahead and get started. start Screamtober with Coraline for Kids Horror Week. When Coraline moves to an old house. <laughs> Coraline Jones always dreamed of finding a better world. <laughs> she feels bored and neglected by her parents. She finds a hidden door with a bricked up passage. <laughs> a world more exciting than this. Uh -huh. But never did she imagine that she'd discover it in her own home. During the night, she crosses the passage and finds a parallel world where everybody has buttons instead of eyes. A parallel place. We've been waiting for you, Coraline. Where parents are always fun. With caring parents and all her dreams coming true. And everything is so good. What's shaking, baby? It just can't be real. When the other mother invites Coraline to stay in her world forever, the girl refuses and finds that the alternate reality where she is trapped is only a trick to lure her in. Rated PG for big kids. Streaming right now on Roku, but check your local listings as streaming platforms change periodically. With its vivid stop-motion animation combined with Neil Gaiman's imaginative story, director Henry Selleck, also director of The Nightmare Before Christmas and James and the Giant Peach, once again takes us to a world full of imagery and wonder. But this time, some of it is actually frightening. It was filled with such magic and enchantment that I completely forgot that it was a dark tale until the occasional scares filled the air. It has some highly fun and amusing characters in it also, and that is the strongest thing of the movie. It was basically an Alice in Wonderland tale, you know, where the girl entering new and strange world, plus the cat that talks makes it obvious. But this world has a dark twist, filled with a great cast as discomforting as it is fun. There were one or two scenes which were a little over the top for younger children, but that's to be expected. You can tell from the opening scene alone that you were in for a treat, hauntingly beautiful, well choreographed. It really hooked your attention and promised a good time. If there is one problem in this movie, it's that Coraline is a bit of a brat, especially with her parents. She doesn't treat the neighbor boy YB that well either. However, the other world is just so infinitely fascinating and at the same time creepy. I certainly recommend this film for adults and most children. Just remember, it might be a bit scary for very young or timid children. To Selleck's credit, this is the first 3D stop motion ever made, stereoscopic 3D. Selleck himself worked on the film for three years. The mantra, never talk to strangers, is never more applicable than it is here with something a tad off kilter in the fantasy world. Dakota Fanning as Coraline, Terry Hatcher as the mother, and the other mother. Excellent performance of Keith David as the cat. Robert Bailey Jr. gets the nervous tick and stammer on the nose for YB, and John Hodgman as her dad. This 2009 movie is special just for the sheer exploration of well-known cultural references, and in the same measure, for the science of detail. So... If you like your horror films, don't write this one off as just another kid's movie. It is so much more. There are some doors that should never be opened. If you enjoyed Coraline, drop a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.